how to create a flipbook on Canva. So hey guys, welcome back to today's video and in today's video guys, I will be teaching you and showing you how you can create a flipbook, a magazine, brochure, a catalog, and a flipping book style in Canva in just a few minutes. So for me to give you just a brief introduction of what Canva is if you don't know already, Canva is an Australian graphic design platform used to create social media graphics, presentations, posters, documents, and other visual content. And the app includes templates for users to use, so it is definitely a user-friendly platform and it's free so you don't have to worry on paying a subscription or any of that. And also, it is the most famous web and graphic design app right now, so definitely check it out. So to start things off, first go to canva.com and you will create your own account here. And you can easily connect your Google account with it, so it'll be hassle-free. And once you're in, this will be the main dashboard of your Canva account. So let's begin by searching first over here the design that we want to create today. And for today's video, we'll be creating a flip book. So just go over to the search bar over here, type in book, and some suggested templates will pop up for you to use. And you can also start from scratch if you want to, but if you want to make your, your lives easier, you can definitely use the templates that Canva provides you, especially for beginners. So you just learn how to get the ropes first, and then you can definitely experiment on your own with the blank template. Here you can click on see all for you to be able to see all of the available templates that they have for you. Now... You can start looking for templates here that you can use for your design. So you have a lot of options for your design that will be perfectly suit your needs. So anything that you can think of, it will definitely be right here since there are a lot of templates available. So please keep in mind that the templates with a crown logo on it and a money sign are paid templates so you need to pay a certain fee for you to use them. So just pick one that doesn't have the money sign or the crown sign. But since we are going for a flip book, so we're, we're going to use a photo book template. So we're going to search for over here on the templates, put in photo books, and then select the photo book with the 11 by 8.5 inches. And here you will select again another template that will perfectly suit your needs. So with the template that I have selected, this will be perfect like if you want to show off your recipes or to show off your restaurant menu. If you own a restaurant, of course. So here is our template and now it has 20 more pages, which is a lot. And here you can simply customize the design and change things around in order to your liking and of course add your own photos because you want to represent your brand in the most best way. You can simply upload them over here on the left side. We click on uploads and then you can click on upload media and you can select your photos over there. For the sake of the tutorial, I will just keep everything that is being presented right here. Here on the first page, you can definitely add like your company logo or your company trademark, like your company trademark mascot. Like for example, maybe your restaurant specializes in like pandas or something, maybe your panda cafe. Then you can definitely add a panda, a panda graphic towards on the front page to let people signify what aesthetic your company has. So you can upload your logo or you can search it over here on elements. So click on elements and then search for whatever you want. We're just going to search for right now, search for food and we're going to select this one and just put it over here on our front page. We can rotate it, make it bigger, bigger or smaller, whatever we want. It depends on you. You are the artist in control. You can also change the color of the element and you can do that by going up on top and you can like make it like all monotone or if you don't like a certain color of that graphic then you could definitely change that and tweak it to how it suits you. 
let's set an open logo, shall we? So we're just going to search for an open sign, then put it over here, resize it real quick, and just put it over there. And also, guys, you can move you can move the elements with your keyboard arrow. So if you want to be a bit more precise with that, then you can definitely use that. Okay, this is looking more interesting than it was before, doesn't it? Of course, you could change the text right here, but for the sake of the tutorial right now, I will not be doing that. And if you want to delete some pages, guys, you can go to the page you want to delete. And over on the upper right side, there is the trash bin icon, and that is the delete icon. So just press that if you want to delete a page. The one next to it is duplicate and the, and the one to the left of that is the add page. So if you want to add a page, that is that. Let's drag in a photo right here. And then you can add a text, of course. So since I want my text to be uniform all around, I'm just going to take some text from the other pages and just edit that. So take that, put it in, and then maybe like type in here. This is like my favorite food or something then that is that so assuming that we are done the next step you need to do is click here share and then select more and find the simple booklet and then click on it so the simple booklet is another app that you can like integrate with your canva account which is very very useful so for beginners you can create that account first here for booklet for you to start using simple booklet for you to create your own flip book so i have already created mine and connected you my simple booklet here now i would just go ahead and save all the pages that i have for the project and wait it to finish and once done click on view in simple booklet and you will be taken to the simple booklet website and here you can put the title on your flip book once again you can name it whatever you want and then down here you have some fold options so if you want to have it to have no folds by folds a trifold or a fold gate so right now i want to have it to have no folds and then just click on complete and wait for it to set up and it may take like a few minutes or so and once it's done you will be redirected to your simple booklet page and right now if you click on the next one it doesn't look like a flip book yet but hold your horses so we're going to click on go to design click on themes we're going to select the background for our flip book over here we'll just choose this one after that setup, you click the page transition. And here you can see all of the different types of transitions that they have. So and in this tutorial, we're going to be using page curl. So if we click next now, you can see it is now a flip book. And this applies to all your pages, guys. And the next thing that you need to do is to click next. And here you can also add like some audio or make it a video. But for now, we'll just skip this part. And then click next there and after that you can share the simple booklet either via email or a different social media platforms like for example Instagram Facebook or LinkedIn or to other social media platforms so just copy the URL right here and you can paste it on your social media posts or the email and send it to your customers or to your email list so that you can view your flipbook. And also you can get some analytics about your flipbook that you have created. Like you can check how many visitors you have and more. So that's how easy it is and fast it is to create your own flipbook guys. I hope you learned something new. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys!